Hello and welcome to Corelli Collectibles. I'm going to be taking a look at this second wave of Unique Toys Palm Collection Shunk and Beta or Shunk and Beta or I don't know and I don't particularly care. It's Skull or Skull Cruncher and Hardhead in a miniature tiny little form that still retain their Headmaster gimmicks. So this is actually the second wave that have come out of these and I'm going to be reviewing the first wave next. So. Those will be back to back. So now here is Hardhead in his vehicle mode. Well, technically, here is Hardhead in his robot mode. And his Transtector in his vehicle mode. But, you know, Headmaster's a little... So, uh, I mean, it's really, really cool that they kept the Headmaster gimmick at this scale. That's really kind of impressive to me. And I love me some headmasters, so you know they pretty much won me over with that. But all in all, this is a really nifty little vehicle. Got a little bit of robot leg kibble, but not much. You can tell the hands, I guess, but it doesn't really look like much from underneath. All in all, I'm a pretty big fan of this guy. Although this is a little bit too bent in right now. Here they are next to some recent Titans Return stuff just for scale. So you can see how tiny this stuff is. And this guy is really, really tiny. I mean, that's, that's him. And this is the Titan Master that came with Hardhead recently so what like a little bit more than half the size of him it's crazy small so while we are on the subject this is him compared to the recent Titan Master pretty significant size difference you guys don't have much by way of articulation they literally just have this double jointed part that lets you fold them up. They have no separate arms or anything like that, but for something of this size, it more than gets the point across. And they do have the added, I mean, of course, bonus feature uh, that you can lift up the cockpit area and he can actually sit in his little transductor and drive it around and stuff so I guess in theory they could have you know used this size of these figures as an excuse to not have them be able to drive in them but all of them can which is very impressive to me so now he is inside his little tank mode and we're ready to go and here they are next to each other the two Autobots that we got so far They look pretty nice. So this guy's transformation is actually pretty cool for uh, a lot of his size. So I'm going to take the gun out, kind of pegs into a rectangular hole. And then these are just round holes into round holes kind of thing. Then you can start by just unpegging the arms. They use a tab there to peg into the underside. Straighten them out. Whoa. I didn't even know that popped off. Crazy. That pops off. Um, where was I? Okay, so you want to take these wheel pod things and rock them out like that so that these holes unpeg from the legs. <clears throat> then you want to unfold this whole part which is going to force you to unfold these flaps which then lets you fold the wheel pods back in and they will peg like that and then the whole thing will fold back up and peg into what is now the knees and then you have some pretty coherent looking legs that are all folded up bits pretty cool 
and the feet do have their tilt so that is good and you just fold this part down rotate the arms out and the transtector is complete finish holding picking that in there you go now it's complete and here he is next to it it's a tiny little dude tiny little dude so he has his weapons that obviously he can hold on to he holds these very well they slide in easily but they feel very secure in there so good QC on that and then this pigs in to either side on the back but this is the right one obviously and then all that is left is to take this little guy you're going to fold him there and then fold him there you got him in head mode and then he's going to plop right into that hole and there you have him in his super nifty robot mode. And he is looking mighty fine if I do so say so. Do so say so. <sighs> I words good. Here he is with those uh, Titans Returns guys transformed. So you can see he is about the same size as a uh, Titans Returns Legends figure. A little bit taller, but not by all that much. And he's about half the size of a deluxe. A little bit taller again, but not by much. So, pretty good size. And here he is with his wave mate. And there are robot modes. So they look pretty good together. This guy in too, just because I have him. Chrome dope still in his vehicle. Very nice looking line. Posability in this guy is not like amazing, but it's pretty good for a figure of this size. He has no head, obviously, because of the, the gimmick. But he's got ball joints here that go all the way around and have a good amount of inward and outward move. He has ball joints on his elbows that are pretty expressive. He actually has a wrist swivel, I think. Hold on. No, he doesn't. I lied. Don't listen to me. Um, waist swivel. Good ball joints on the hips. Very good knee. foot and then foot slash ankle tilt and the cool thing about this is that even though it's only the first part of the foot they rounded the edge off over here so you don't have that problem a lot of other other toys that use this kind of thing do where if you put it like this he's he's sitting flat there's not a corner there that's kind of keeping it off off this part so it genuinely is really good And that's about it. So not not the most fantastic articulation ever, but it's it is a lot for something this small. And I really do think that uh, it serves its purpose. You get him in some decent poses. Moving on to Skull. Here we have him in his Titan Master mode. Boop. Uh, well. Here he is with his. Sorry, headmaster mode. Here he is with Titanmaster. Who is being really floppy right now for some reason. So, again, 
Pretty decent size difference, obviously. And just like Hardhead, he can go ride in his transector and be a little alligator. There are these joints here that allow the alligator feet to kind of bend down, but they are pretty much useless as far as I can tell because there's no way to really have the back legs posed that way. So, uh,. I guess it's for like the sleeping mode or something. They're not really used in transformation or anything, so I'm not sure what that's about. Here he is with some other things for size comparison. So, you have a general idea how big these guys are. Not super tiny, but not the hugest thing either. Transformation is pretty simple. You just want to dump your little headmaster guy out. And you can go stand off to the side and watch. Oh, pop the weapon off. And then there's a lot of stuff that goes on in this. First you want to split this and this whole back part. back part kind of pegs in to the back sides of the legs. You can collapse that down and then you want to fold these parts out and these will peg in also to the legs. Like so. You want to find the front of his crotch, position these like that. And then you're going to fold these in and these will become his feet like that and then you're going to take these out of here and they kind of loosely peg in using these holes and these little raised bumps it's not like a hard peg it's more of kind of a resting in an indent thing so you want to pull those out like that and then take this little flap and unpeg it from the underside right there and then you're going to kind of rock this back and then that lets you fold this up and kind of stick it through that hole like so you want it to kind of end up like this and then what you're going to want to do is kind of keep that back and you just want to rotate this entire so I'm just making sure I don't have anything in the way you want to rotate this entire top part have this in the way. This entire top part around like so. And sorry, you probably want to rotate the alligator head first before you do that. Because that'll let you kind of get that out of your way too. And then said alligator head is going to fold up onto the back. This is all going to collapse down like that. And then this thing that you pulled out is going to peg in behind there. I don't know if you can see that. It's a little hole that's wiggling. It's going to peg in there, which locks the whole chest in place. And then fold that down, and then rotate this around. And then you're basically just straightening stuff out. Because that is the transductor pretty much completely done up. And you also have the weapons. This can split apart into two different swords. Let's see if I can actually get it. It is really hard to do. <sighs> yeah, it's really hard to do and I'm not really a huge fan of it. And then you can't have him holding the gun and stuff anyway. So I've just been doing what a lot of the promo pictures for this toy have. And just he just wields the whole thing like a giant club. So... This can split apart into two things that just look like halves of that. whoop de doo And then take this little dude, same as before, fold him up, plop him on, and you have Skull Cruncher, Crusher, whatever you want to call him. You have him ready to go. Here he is again with his wave mate. And we 
can bring in Weird Wolf because he is not in his vehicle mode. Chrome still is. And then, oops, we can show him off with his Titans Returns. Assuming I can get him to stand, because that's always fun. There they are together. Cool. His articulation is basically the same. He's got none in the head. He's got ball joints. He's got some upward and downward movement on the shoulders, which is nice. He has these weird joints that I mentioned earlier that I'm not really sure what they're for. He does have waist rotation, but you gotta move this little flap thing down if you want to use it. This little thingy. Ball joints. Ball joints. Pivot, and then I guess he's got like heel movement. So all in all, I definitely rate these guys very highly. They are uh, they're headmasters. They're really fun little figures. They're well posed, or well posable. Uh, their transformations are really good. Uh, all around, I'm really impressed with these little palm collection guys, and uh, I like the first wave a lot too. And you'll see that in my next review. So. I don't think you can really go wrong here, and they're pretty well priced too. I think they're like $40, $49, I think, for two of these. They might even be less than that. It might be $40 for two of these. I don't quite remember. Uh, $45, $44.99 it looks like, at least on BBTS. So that is a really, really good price for these two little guys together. Um, I'm, I am perfectly happy paying that for multiple more pairs of these things if they're going to keep making them, because I am... I am all about these. I think they're fantastic. I think they're kind of a steal, frankly, especially if you look at what some of the other third-party Transformers, like, legend scales are going for. They don't offer as much. They're usually a little bit simpler. They're not headmasters, and sometimes they're even sold single-pack, and they're, like, the same amount of money, if not more. So I think these are the most compelling third-party uh, smaller size class figures that have come out recently, at least in, in my opinion. So take that for what you will. Uh, you can find these guys and a whole bunch of other really cool toys on Big Bad Toy Store or BBTS. There's a link down in my description, uh, both to these guys and probably to the store in general. So you can check that out, check these guys out, check out everything else they have, and also I will see you next time. So check that out as well. Peace.